What's up world, Chuck here and welcome to Would You Rather, a game that will make you question your morals and ethics just from a little browser. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this is a question based game and ask would you rather be this or be that. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. And the first question is, would you rather be Harry Potter or Luke Skywalker? Now would I rather be a wizard or a Jedi? Hmm. Now, a wizard has magical powers. Um, Luke Skywalker. I'm gonna go with a Jedi. A Jedi. The Jedi has telekinesis. Oh, really? <laughs> a lot of other people would rather be a wizard. Okay. On to the next. Would you rather live in the world overrun by zombies or live in the world of My Little Pony? Oh. Oh, My Little Pony. Um, no offense to the people who like My Little Pony, but I I just can't stand it. Ah, so, but a world overrun by zombies. Ooh, now in a world overrun by zombies, I'm assuming that the apocalypse has happened or some kind of outbreak. You're, you're talking about the Walking Dead kind of situation here, where you're constantly fighting for survival versus. Living in a world of My Little Pony. Mmm. Zombies. That's a more badass lifestyle. That I'm. I'm gonna go with zombies. <laughs> Fifty-three percent of you people would rather live in the world of My Little Pony. Would you rather get killed by your boyfriend or girlfriend, or get killed by your best friend? Ooh. Okay. Now this is more of a more dilemma. Okay, okay. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, right? You're just getting to know him. You met him wherever you met him at, at a bar, at a library, at, at a video store, game store, or whatever. And you know you're just getting to know him or whatever. But you don't really know him. But I think it would get. I, I think it would hurt worse to get killed by your best friend because your best friend you know him. You know, you grew up together, you you known each other for years and years and years. Oh, I think I would rather get killed. Well, that also brings up another dilemma. What's the situation? What's going on? Like, is there some kind of, of situation going on, like an apocalypse or, or, or outbreak situation? Or did I catch something where I have to be killed before I turn into something? I think I would rather get killed by my best friend. Okay. Oh, I guess I'm wrong on that one too. <laughs> More people would rather get killed by the boyfriend or girlfriend. But I mean, okay, boyfriend and girlfriend, that can also go back to, you know, years and years of knowing each other too. You know, you, you could have met up in high school or whatever, and now you're in your 30s and you're still boyfriend and girlfriend, you know, maybe trying to get married or something. I don't know. Okay. If you had to be stuck with one for a year, would you rather have to give a graphic naked picture of yourself to anyone who asks for it or give up sex if you had to be stuck with one for a year would you rather I'd rather give up sex because I don't want my pictures all over there all over the internet really 69% <laughs> would rather have a graphic naked picture of themselves and have to give it to anyone who asks for it rather than give up sex I guess. Okay, whatever. Okay, would you rather run the world's only unicorn petting zoo or always have the car of your dreams? Okay, I almost clicked on it instantly, but I'm a car guy. I love cars. I love everything about them, so... <laughs> Unicorns don't even exist, so car of my dreams. Oh, that's split. 50-50. Not too bad. Okay. Would you rather only be able to laugh at blonde jokes or not be able to understand sarcasm? Who would you rather? Okay. Now, if you're only able to laugh at blonde jokes, no offense to any blondes, but this is going into a stereotype or whatever. Blonde jokes are supposedly the most idiotic jokes of all times, but not being able to understand sarcasm. Now, that takes me back to Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory now. Ah. <sighs> 
Because if I'm only allowed to laugh at blonde jokes, that means when me and my friends are hanging out and we're tripping out or whatever, I wouldn't be able to trip out and have a good time with them. And then again, if you're not able to understand sarcasm, you can flip that around into a joke on its own. So, ah, oh, six to eight percent of people will only be able to laugh at blonde jokes. Okay. Would you rather have a one night stand or have a friend with benefits? Hmm. Okay, this brings up another personal dilemma. Okay, if you have a one night stand, that means you meet somebody at a club or a bar or wherever you're at, and you know, you guys just, you know, if you're drinking, you get drunk, or you know, even if you're not drinking or whatever, you know, just meet up and it's like, hey, I like you, I like you, you like me, so let's just hook up for the night or whatever and move on past our ways. But if you have a friend with benefits, okay, that can go multiple ways because that friend could have a boyfriend slash girlfriend. Uh, and then if you do have that friend with benefits or whatever that could have been a lifelong friend or whatever whatever you don't want to mess up a friendship by you know having sex with them all the time or whatever whenever you guys want to but the way society is now I guess it's more accepted um hmm with me I guess I would rather have a friend with benefits and 87% of you guys think the same thing. Moving right along. <laughs> Would you rather be a nerd or be a jock nerd? 61%. There we go. No question about it. Would you rather never again play a game on your computer or never again play a console or portable device game? I built up this computer just so I could play PC games. So, uh, never again play on a console. Because... Whatever. 61% disagreed. Okay. As a gentleman, would you rather paint your nails or wear high heels? Well, I'm not finna walk around everywhere in high heels with just some jeans and a t-shirt on and, and like my regular guy clothes. So, I would rather paint my nails because you can go and get a manicure or whatever. I think that's what you call it. I'm correct me if I'm wrong. But you know, you can go and get a paint with like that clear stuff that's supposed to be protectant. It's supposed to heal your nails or whatever. So, paint them. 82% agree. That's what I'm talking about. Would you rather be unable to survive without eating something every hour or be unable to taste anything for the rest of your life? Whoa, okay. If I'm unable to survive without eating every hour, that would get time consuming and exhausting. But if I'm unable to taste anything, I won't be able to enjoy the flavors of all foods. I you know, just like if you go to a restaurant and everybody suggests it to you, it's like, oh, they have the best tasting steaks here. They have the best tasting sushi. You know, they have the best this, the best that. If you go there, you won't be able to enjoy that. But if I have to eat every hour on the hour, that would be exhausting. I wouldn't be able to live life. So, I guess I'd be unable. I'm, I'm going to go with this and be unable to taste anything for the rest of your life. And <laughs> only 36% agree with me. But I mean, again, like, if I had to eat every hour on the hour, that, that wouldn't be like a full course meal every hour on the hour. Could you imagine that? You wouldn't be able to live your life. So, that's my choice. Would you rather have 2 million YouTube subscribers or have 1 million Twitter followers? Okay, since I am a small YouTuber, you know, um, I do try to get out and reach as much people as I can. And I honestly feel like if I had 2 million YouTube subscribers, I honestly feel like I could like make a little bit of a change or whatever by putting my messages out there, you know, like, you know, positive messages you know things of that nature versus having one million Twitter followers you know I could tweet something stupid out like look at this little meal I made you know and you know whatever but not slamming anybody who has a lot of Twitter or YouTube subscribers you know I think I would rather have two million subscribers on YouTube simply because the content I create I love it I love it I love doing it I love going in and doing edits on it after I get done recording and every video that I do edit 
I'm sitting back with a big smile on my face and I go back and it's like, oh, I can add this in, I can edit this in, I can do this, I can do that. And while I'm doing it, it makes me laugh, it makes me chuckle. And I watch it over 7, 8, 9, 20 times. And every time I watch it over, that little part that I just did, it makes me laugh. So, you know, I want to spread that laughter out. You know, somebody who may be having a bad day or whatever, I want to, you know, hopefully make them laugh too. So, if I had 2 million people watching... Well, 2 million subscribers doesn't necessarily mean that you have 2 million people watching every video that you put out, but that would reach a bigger audience. So I guess I would rather have this, not because of money, not because of you know fame or whatever, just because I can be able to reach out to people and you know hopefully make them laugh, hopefully break, brighten their day up or whatever. So, boom. And, of course, 78% agreed. Now, for this last question, is really creeping me out. Because I don't like insects like that. Especially these two insects. Okay, it says, Would you rather get stung repeatedly by a Japanese hornet or be bitten once by a black widow spider? Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen or heard of a Japanese hornet, but those are hornets that are like this freaking big and like, they're, they're huge for hornets. And uh, obviously you guys know what a black widow spider is. Now, from what I've heard, and what I've talked to other people about, black widows are very, very poisonous. And they can really fuck you up if you don't get help after they bite you once. But to be getting stung by that giant hornet, could you imagine that? A hornet the size of a hummingbird? Obviously, if I'm getting stung by a Japanese hornet, I'm somewhere I ain't got no business being. But if I get bitten by a black widow, I'm just lifting up some old lids on barrels or whatever, you know. So, I hate spiders though. I hate spiders. But I'm going to have to go with a black widow because could you imagine how freaky it would be for you running from a hummingbird-sized hornet and he's steadily stinging you? That's terrifying. So I'm going to go with a black widow because if I get bit by him, or her, I'm sorry. If I get by bit by her, I'm gonna instantly go to the hospital and you know get some antivenom or whatever. So, uh, spider, uh, ah, 67% agree. Okay, that's what's up. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. You guys did get to take a little trip inside my mind and see my thought process and see kind of what kind of guy I am. Except for this little insect thing, I, uh, I hate that. Oh, uh, my skin's crawling. But anyway. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button if you're new. Feel free to subscribe. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Again, I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking my videos out. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.